Hey guys, it's Owen. We're gonna be showing you some basic fly tying today. Mainly just for like bass and stuff, because I'm not too good with dry flies for like trout. I actually just learned how to tie flies last year at fly fishing camp by Friends of Upper Delaware. So shout out to them. And, uh, we have a few of my friends that do fly tying. My friend Tommy Latoski. His name on YouTube is Real Outdoors 56 so subscribe to him. And he helps me out with some of my stuff, too. I'm just going to show you some of the flies I've tied before. These are some of my bass flies. Just made a lot of these at fly fishing camp. This one's pretty cool. It's got the wings and everything. These are my attempts at dry flies. They didn't really come out too good. Let's show you this one. What else we got? Just mainly little streamers. I use them for fishing around here a lot. Frog. Oh, this is called a sand lawn worm. This is really good for your pan fish, like crappy and some fish and stuff like that. Works really good. But yeah, that's about it. I got a big bass streamer here I made a while ago. Got this real fly fishing camp. They give you a whole set of stuff, an Orvis reel, you get an Orvis rod. They all come with a nice case, and your rod comes with a nice case. Some of my materials I have, those are for the body. And you can just buy all this stuff at your local stores. Elk hair, some hen feathers. And that's from a grouse I shot this year. That's from a deer and a squirrel tail. So you can use pretty much anything you want to do this kind of stuff. I just use normal household thread. I got a vice here. I got it for Christmas this year. But yeah. Alright. So I'm going to start this off. Oh man. Okay, hold on. I haven't really thought about this yet. Okay, there we go. So, you can see this little hook here. What you're going to do, you're going to start towards the head of the hook. You're going to get your thread wrapped around it. And you're going to slowly wrap around the hook. This takes a little bit, so you gotta be patient. And just get all this thread in here. Here, I'll give you a closer look at what I'm doing. Slowly wrap it around. Just cover it with thread. That's gonna give you a stable base for when you wanna start putting different things on there. Just keep wrapping. And you're going to want to go all the way back down. Until you got that. And you can come. You're going to trim this. Okay, now time for the body. Today I'll be using this black yarn as the body. <sighs> ok, 
Okay, so what you're going to do is the same thing. Hold that there. And you're going to wrap it tight. And once it's wrapped up, you're going to wrap your body around it. Closer look. Right around the hook to the end. And go back through again. Okay, so now I'm going to take the thread. I'll wrap it all the way back up to the top. Pin that down. There we go. Even got myself a nice little tail on that thing. Okay, let's see, what do I want to use for the top? For the top, probably just use this deer tail. Good, popular choice. So I'm going to take it. Usually want to start down at the bottom, but I want some of this tan color. Take a pinch of it. Cut that. <laughs> you know what's funny? This deer tail belongs to that buck up on the wall. He's watching me do this right now. Alright, so now I'm going to take this. It's really falling off here. You take this. You're gonna set it on top, the same exact thing. Wrap it all around it. Dang. I'm gonna make that tight because these will fall right out. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's sloppy. And just make your knot here. Here's how you're gonna do that. Come here, put two fingers, wrap it around them, get them there, pull it tight. Okay, there we go. That's pretty much it, guys not that much and once you're done here you just trim it nice up trim it up nice and good you can trim the length of this stuff so yeah that's about it I want this stuff to be at the top There you go. Nice little bass fly right there. I mean, you can use it in the river and stuff too. It's not going to hurt anything, but I usually just use it for bass fishing. But yeah, like this video. We'll try to get some more in there. Just subscribe.
Once I learn how to do those dry flies, I'll definitely make videos of those. They're tough. I'll get it. Alright, see you later.